Ever wondered how history's most famous empire, the mighty Roman Empire, met its end? According to a survey, 87% of people worldwide have different thoughts on how the empire actually collapsed. Don't worry, we'll explore all of these theories in this short video. It was actually the Western Roman Empire that collapsed, while the Eastern Empire continued for another 1,000 years. It even expanded at a couple of points after the fall of the West. So the key to the downfall of Rome lies in looking at what was different between the Eastern and Western. The Western Roman Empire collapsed in 476 AD. The Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to exist and thrive for nearly a thousand more years, until it fell to the Ottoman Turks in 1453. In this video, we'll uncover the intriguing story and key points of how the Roman Empire ultimately met its downfall. 1. The rot within, political corruption and economic decline. The empire, sprawling across continents, was plagued by political corruption. Emperors rose and fell like leaves in autumn, often through assassination or betrayal. The treasury, once brimming with gold from conquests, was now empty. Heavy taxation and rampant inflation crippled the economy, leading to widespread poverty and unrest among the citizens. 2. Barbarian invasions, the unrelenting pressure. While Rome's internal structure crumbled, external threats grew bolder. The Visigoths, led by their king Alaric, sacked Rome in 410 AD, shocking the world. This was only the beginning. The Vandals swept across North Africa. Africa, and in 455 AD, they too sacked Rome, leaving destruction in their wake. Meanwhile, the Huns under Attila terrorized the empire's borders, pushing other tribes like the Ostrogoths and the Franks into Roman lands. 3. The ill-fated division, East and West. In a desperate attempt to manage the vast empire, it was divided into the Western and Eastern Roman empires. The East, with its capital in Constantinople, managed to hold off invasions and maintain relative stability. The West, with Rome at its heart, was not so fortunate, it became increasingly isolated and vulnerable to barbarian incursions. 4. The Puppet Emperor, Romulus Augustulus In 475 AD, a mere boy, Romulus Augustulus, was placed on the throne of the Western Roman Empire. His reign was a mere shadow play, manipulated by the real power brokers. He was no match for the looming threats at the gates of Rome. 5. The Final Blow, Odoacer's Rebellion In 476 AD, the Germanic chieftain Odoacer led a rebellion of disillusioned Roman soldiers soldiers and mercenaries. They marched into Rome with little resistance. Realizing the futility of his position, Romulus Augustulus abdicated. Odoacer, declaring himself ruler of Italy, sent the imperial regalia to Constantinople, symbolically ending the Western Roman Empire. 6. The Eastern Beacon, Byzantine Empire While the Western Empire fell into darkness, the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to shine. It preserved Roman law, culture, and traditions, influencing future civilizations. 7. Legacy of Rome, a world transformed. The fall of the Western Roman Empire marked the end of ancient Rome, but not the end of its legacy. The remnants of Roman culture, law, and infrastructure laid the foundation for the medieval and modern worlds. Rome's spirit lived on in the hearts and minds of those who sought to rebuild and redefine the world in its image. The fall of the Roman Empire was a complex tapestry of decline, invasion, and transformation, a story of an ancient giant brought low, but whose legacy continues to shape the world today.